Today we're looking at one of the most sophisticated court bases on the market, the Artisan A5 Ultra Ash. Let's check it out. Hi everyone, my name is Gregor Fries and today we have Mr. René Flexenbeard on base. Out of the Artisan series, the A models are the top of the line and this particular one here, the Ultra Ash model, is probably the most special one out of the bunch. We have reviewed the four string version of this base two years ago, so if you want to hear this base with a completely different player, uh, check it out. It's former Prince bassist Ida Nielsen, so yes, you definitely want to watch this after you've finished this one here. Now let's get started in here example, which I would say is very typical for the Ultra Ash base. That's more or less the default sound of these bases. Of course, you have plenty of options to change it up, which we will check out in a minute, but this is uh, basically the starting point. But before we discuss the sound, let's go through the specs real quick. The Artisan A5 Ultra Ash is a neck through base. That means the neck goes from the strap pin near the bridge all the way through the body to the headstock. This feature means you get a faster attack, longer sustain, higher chances for a solid B string and lower chances for the necessity of a neck adjustment. That's all nice, I guess, but I also love how neck through bases feel. The whole instrument behaves as if it was made from just one piece of wood and I personally I like this a lot. The neck is made out of five pieces of maple and uh, there we have it again. Panga Panga. The body wings have a mahogany back and this beautiful slightly grayish dyed ash top. The fretboard is Panga Panga as well and comes with 24 frets and a 34 inch scale. The neck is nice and flat, it's super comfortable and I think it doesn't get much better if you like slim necks. And now let's find out what makes this base so different from the other A-series models. It's uh, the pickups. These are called Fluence and are made by Fishman, an acoustic pickup brand that ventured into pickups for electric instruments a few years ago with an absolute bombshell of a release, the Fluence pickups. These are active but nothing like EMGs because they come with this little voicing switch with three different positions that change the sound of these pickups fundamentally. Well then, let's try it out. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best riff to demonstrate these voicings, but I hope you still get the idea. But, and don't get me wrong, those are not any EQ that's separate, those are here. Uh, these voicings are really there to change the basic character of your bass. One sound is big but kind of flat. One has rich mids and one acts more like a thinner single coil sound. Once you have this bass, you might find your tone and stay in just one setting, but it's definitely a cool feature to change your bass sound on the go. And then there's of course the active bass preamp. The controls are volume, pickup plant, basses and highs. So what have I forgotten? Here's the massive uh, hipshot trans tone bridge, which actually sends your strings through the body. And the uh, tuners are made from hip too. Of course, the ultralight models, which are kind of the boutique bass standard nowadays. Since these pickups are active, this bass will definitely also attract some metal players. So let's get the neural parallax uh, going and uh, do some shreddering. I think that's how it's called. Oh, I've also forgotten to remind you to subscribe, to like this video and buy our beautiful merch. I hear it's the goodest merch on the web.
this is an awesome boutique base only that it doesn't come from a boutique manufacturer and costs only a fraction of the price of what a small shop would have to charge you for a similar aspect out base. So this is cool. This is awesome. Very well made. Great bang for your buck. I mean, you know what I mean. And I guess that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. And uh, I guess bye-bye. Uh,